How to calculate the return of bond? Uh, I use a simple animation uh, issuer. Uh, bond there is one term called par value. That's very important, par value. And par value typically is $100. So you need to pay $100 to, to buy this bond. Okay? That is in normal situation. You need to pay $100 to get $100 bond. So in this case, issuer sell bond $100, bond buyer, pay hundred dollars cash okay in return you will get five dollars kaput every year okay. when the bond merger of course you will receive back hundred dollars and you will know that because you receive five dollars interest so what is the return of this bond oh, five percent very good wow straightforward kaput rate you will see is five percent kaput rate and return of bond is also five percent that is very straightforward okay you get you pay hundred dollars, you get five dollars, five percent return. Okay, but there are some other cases where you can buy the bond at below par value, below par value. You can buy it because bond is also traded in SGX market. Okay, so you have a chance to buy at lower price, and you also have a chance to buy at higher price. Later, I'll show you how to buy. Okay, so in this case. You get hundred dollars bond by paying only ninety-eight dollars. Ninety-eight dollars, uh. okay. But still, you will get five percent coupon, right? Five dollars coupon. Okay. But because this is hundred dollars bond, correct? So when the bond merged, uh, you should get hundred dollars cash back, not ninety-eight dollars. Because this guy promised to pay you back hundred dollars, not ninety eight dollars. Okay, so you get ninety eight dollars. Correct. Ah, coupon rate is still five percent. But what is the return of this bond? The return confirmed is more than five percent. But you don't know how much. Maybe six percent, maybe seven percent. You don't know. There is one way to calculate. Later, I'll show you how to calculate. Okay, and one more case. Instead of paying ninety eight dollars, you pay. Hundred and zero two to get the bond. Same thing, you receive five dollars coupon, and when the bond merged, you should get back hundred dollars. Yes, you are right. Oh, good. The response good. So you get back hundred dollars. So in this case, right, coupon rate still five percent, but the bond return. Oh, good. Oh, very good. Oh. First thing. Bond return is equal to coupon payment plus capital gain or loss. Remember, capital gain is ninety-eight dollars. You get back hundred dollars, so capital gain is two dollars. And capital loss is you lost two dollars also because you pay hundred and zero two dollars. Correct. So there is a small portion, small portion of capital gain or loss. For stock, different story. Most of return are come from capital gain or loss. Uh, Coupon payment or dividend pay is uh, slightly lower. Of course, you are looking for REIT, maybe uh, dividend is much higher. La. Okay? And I would like to introduce this term called yield to maturity. This is what, uh, this, uh, uh, what we use in finance industry, yield to maturity. This is the return of bond. Okay? Re bond return or bond yield is equal to U to maturity. It's just a term. Okay, it's just a term. U to maturity. And remember, U to maturity is not equal to coupon rate. This one very important. Please remember. U to maturity is not equal to coupon rate. Okay? And you heard about uh, treasury use for US goes out. Ah, this is the meaning. U to maturity. 